Hi, this is Lloyd Balinado, and I will be discussing the order Diptera, specifically on flies. Let's begin by giving some general information on the order Diptera. Diptera comes from the Greek words di and teron, which mean two and wing respectively. In short, this group is composed of two winged insects. Order Diptera has more than 100,000 known species and is considered as the fourth largest insect order after the beetles, butterflies and moths, and bees and wasps. Dipterans are considered as true flies. Common names of the members of this order are written as two words. Examples are crane fly, rubber fly, bee fly, moth fly, and fruit fly. On the other hand, non-dipteran insects with fly in their names are written as one word. Examples are butterfly, stonefly, scorpion fly, dragonfly, sawfly, and white fly. Let's now discuss the basic anatomy of flies. Like all insects, a housefly's body is covered with a hard exoskeleton of chitin and is divided into three sections, the head, thorax, and abdomen. A pair of large complex eyes covers most of the housefly's head. Each eye is composed of 3,000 to 6,000 simple eyes which provide an excellent mosaic view of everything to the left, right, front, and above the fly. Houseflies also boast three additional simple eyes called ocelli, located between the two compound eyes which are responsible for keeping track and moving towards sanded areas. Houseflies depend on their keen sense of smell, provided by their antennae. For tasting and consuming meals, the insect uses its proboscis, a plunger-like appendage that extends from the bottom of the head. Two small antenna-like fillers, called maxillary palps, allow the fly to taste its food. The end portion of the proboscis, called the labellum, terminates in a spongy mouth where the fly slurps its food. Though flies appear to have only one pair of wings, Closer inspection reveals the presence of tiny, secondary wings located below the main pair. These are called halters that are used to maintain balance in the air. If one halter is removed, the insect can only fly in circles. Without either halter, the fly can take to the air at all. The primary wings do the rest of the work. It provides enough power and precision for instant lift off and complicated flight movements. A housefly's wings are delicate instruments. Perhaps you've seen a housefly cleaning them. This is because even the smallest piece of food caught on the wing's thin surface can throw a fly off balance during flight. And then there are the legs, which the fly uses to taste everything it lands on. Tiny hairs or spines on the end leg segment work like human taste buds. For this reason, you can often spot houseflies walking around on potential meals. If you happen to observe the same fly walking on the wall or ceiling, then you saw the other portions of the legs in action. The bottom of the housefly's feet boasts tiny gripping claws and moist suction pods called pulvilli which allow the fly to land almost anywhere. The abdomen contains other key organs including an egg-laying ovipositor in females and a sperm-depositing adiagus in males, which both remain retracted when not in use. Let's now discuss the life cycle of fly. Here's a video taken from the web discussing this topic with housefly as the presented organism. The housefly's main weapon in its struggle for survival is its enormous reproductive capacity. The female lays its eggs in dung hills, manure pits, refuse dumps, or wherever else it can find decaying organic matter. The legless larvae or maggots hatch out after 12 to 24 hours. 
During its adult lifetime, a female housefly can produce up to 2,000 eggs, laid in several batches. The next generation develops from these eggs within 7 to 28 days, depending on temperature. After three molts, the maggot pupates. It forms a barrel-shaped puparium in which it transforms into an adult fly. When it's ready to emerge, the adult fly pumps body fluid into a sac on the front of its head. The fly uses this inflated sac to rupture the pupal case and escape from it. The adult females begin to lay eggs a few days after emergence. There may be as many as 12 generations a year. So where do flies live? Houseflies are usually less common in polar or cold regions. Large numbers of this group can develop in poultry houses and around barns and feed where animal wastes accumulate. Around the home, houseflies can develop in garbage and piles of fermenting lawn clippings. Just like the houseflies, many other species of flies are found living on decaying matter. Other species live in other habitats, like the fruit flies, which usually develop in fruits. With regards to the global presence of the group, Flies are distributed worldwide, and are found less common in polar or cooler regions. What are the adaptive and defensive structures and behaviors of flies? The eyes of flies are among the most complex in the insect world. They are compound eyes with many individual facets, each representing a separate light detecting unit. The light reflected from the eye of a horsefly can form a rainbow. Flies taste smell and feel with the hairs that cover their bodies. The hairs on the fly's mouth parts and feet are used for tasting. Flies taste what they walk on. The eyes of a fly do not have eyelids, so flies rub their eyes constantly with their feet to keep them clean. Flies walk on smooth surfaces using sticky soft pads that act like glue. This allows them to walk on vertical glass surfaces and upside down. Let's now identify the roles of flies in the environment. Flies are very important in consuming and eliminating dead bodies of animals. Flies are also essential in the conversion of feces and decaying vegetation to soil. Flies serve as prey to many other animals and some aid in pollination. But because of their habits of being attracted to feces and garbages, flies have been implicated in the transmission of disease such as dysentery, typhoid fever, and cholera. Let's now give some examples of flies. Housefly is the most common of all domestic flies, accounting for about 91% of all flies in human habitation and indeed one of the most widely distributed insects found all over the world. Fruit fly is considered as the most abused fly for it is often manipulated in laboratory experiments. On a recent trip to Kenya last 2010, a wingless fly was rediscovered. This was the terrible hairy fly which has only been collected twice before, in 1933 and 1948. Chechiflies are carriers of the sleeping sickness disease that affects the human nervous system, especially if those living in Africa. Houseflies serve as vectors for the transmission of cholera in which they carry the bacterium Vibria cholerae. What makes flies extraordinary? The common housefly has the shortest natural life of all insects in which it lives between 17 and 29 days. The fact that flies carry numerous diseases is quite horrifying, but these diseases aren't the only way a fly can kill a man. How? A fly gets stuck in the throat of Pope Adrian VI, and the poor man choked to death. <laughs>